Hello and welcome to the video. Here we are discussing a time to analog converter. So this is designed in CMOS technology using Cadence Virtuoso. So it is used to pre-charge this read bit line to an analog voltage that is proportional to the time duration or pulse width of the digital signal which is this on signal. So if you are working with SRAM based dot product engine or neuromorphic circuits this video is going to be extremely useful for you. So let us discuss the working initially for the reset process to reset this capacitor to zero volt we will have this reset signal as high. So when the reset signal goes high the NMOS will go on and the capacitor of the this read bit line will be discharged. Now at the start of the time window the reset signal has to go low then only the time window will start. So when the on signal is high at the start of the time window the on signal is high. So this PMOS is stack, this PMOS and this PMOS that we can see, uh, this is biased in the saturation region and it acts as a constant current source. So the RBL, the read bit line will be charged with this fixed current for the duration of the on signal. So reset and on signal are non-overlapping pulses. So this RBL will integrate this current to produce the analog voltage. So this V bias will control the sensitivity of this time to, an, uh, time to analog converter so it will control how fast the analog voltage or the voltage of the read bit line increases, increases with respect to time. So let us go into the simulation part. So we can see that the on signal is a signal of pulse width 40 nanosecond. Let us see what is the output voltage produced by this on signal. So we can see that initially when the reset signal was high, this RBL got discharged completely to 0 volt. Then for the duration of the on signal, the RBL got charged to a voltage of 293 millivolt when the on signal is of 40 nano time duration. In the second case, I, I took the on signal to be on only for 30 nanosecond. So the output you can see is 222 millivolt. So in this way we can verify that the read bit line voltage depends on the duration of this on signal. So it is working like a time to analog converter. Thank you.